Hello students, welcome. Today we will be discussing the experiment of energy band gap of a given semiconductor material by four probe method. Please subscribe to the channel in order to avail many more content related facilities. This is what the experimental setup looks like where you are going to measure the energy band gap of a given germanium semiconductor material with the help of four probe method. So what apparatus will I require for this? I will require a probe arrangement, sample, usually germanium oven and a four probe setup. The electric circuit of my experiment will be looking like this. Here, the outer probes will be measuring the current, whereas the inner ones will be measuring the voltage. And this S is the distance between the probes. Then it is a very simple digital experimental setup. Now, this is what it looks like in the physics lab. Here, this will be giving me the reading for ammeter voltmeter display. Here I am going to control, this is the oven which is kept at the top. This will give me the digital temperature display. With the help of this knob, I will set up the range. Like for my experiment, I will be setting up the range of 10. Here is my on off switch. Here the LED display of oven temperature is there. The knob is there. and the oven which is used here in this experiment is to be handled very carefully, keeping in mind that we should not be raising the temperature more than 400 Kelvin. The four probe setup looks something like this. As we can see, one, two, three, four. The four probes kept on the simple germanium chip here and this has been kept inside the oven. And it should be kept very uh, carefully. The germanium crystal is very brittle. Therefore, only minimum pressure should be required for proper electrical contact. And four probes should be very gently touching the material. These probes, one, two, three, four, and this germanium material. They should be very gently touching the probe. Okay. What is the theory behind this experiment? We know that resistance is proportional to the length of sample and inversely proportional to its area of cross section. And the formula is R is equal to rho L upon A, where rho is resistivity of the sample. For our experiment, what we require is that we know that the formula for semiconductors for resistivity is rho equal to rho dash e to the power of eg upon 2kt where eg is the required energy band gap, k is Boltzmann constant and t is absolute temperature. For our experiment, the value of K for Boltzmann constant will be 8.617 into 10 to the power of minus 5 electron volt per Kelvin. Now we will take natural logarithm on both sides of this equation. So on taking log, we will get log rho equal to log rho dash plus log eg upon 2 kt and now multiplying the term eg upon 2 kt multiplying and dividing by 1000 the expression will now look like this we can compare this expression with that of a straight line y equal to mx plus c where m is slope because we have to find a slope in this experiment so when we compare this expression with the expression of a straight straight line, we will get slope m equal to eg upon 2k into 1000. Now, slope of plot between log rho and 1000 upon t will be equal to eg upon 2k into 10 to the power of 3. So, band gap eg will be equal to slope into 2 into Boltzmann constant into 10 to the power of 
3. This is the formula to be used in this experiment. That is, band gap energy is equal to slope into 2 into Boltzmann constant into 10 to the power of 3. Graph has to be plotted between log base E rho and 10 to the power of 3 divided by absolute temperature in Kelvin. It will be an approximate straight line and we will find the slope of from this plot that is del y by del x. And finally, we will get the answer for band gap. So what is the first step in this experiment? First, we will standardize our current. That means with the help of this knob here, we will set the current. These two knobs you can see, one is for millivolt, the other is for milliampere. From here, see, we will set the current knob and we will set current at 5 milliampere for the whole experiment. Now we are not going to touch 5 milliampere knob again. Now after setting it at 5, we will revert it back to the voltage knob and then this knob will be activated. And from here we will be taking the temperature. This is the multiplier knob. This is the oven knob where oven is on and off. And from here we keep varying the temperatures to read for our experiment. So first, when we have set the current to initial observation of 5 milliampere, spacing between the probes will be given to us. Like suppose for one specific experiment, they have been given as 0.2 centimeter. Thickness of the sample will also be given to us. Like for this experiment, suppose for germanium, it has been given as 0 0.05 centimeter. The semiconductor chip material is made of germanium and correction factor for specific resistance G7W by S is equal to 2S upon W log base E2. And we will find the numerical value of this correction factor. So W, we will keep, keep the value as 0 0.05. S, we will keep as 0.2 log base E2, we will keep as 2.303 into log base 10 to equal to 0.693. On putting these values, this correction factor G7 W by S, the value can be found, which is coming out equal to 5.54. After that, we will set up the experiment. Now you can see we have set it at millivolt. And now millivolt multiplier of 10 here, oven on. Now we will only touch this temperature knob, raise the temperature. LED will display the oven temperature status here of getting heated. Once this uh, light closes, we will immediately note the voltage from here and the temperature from here. While noting voltage, we will multiply that reading by 10. So suppose if this is my reading setup, then my voltage will be 15 into 10. Temperature will be 309 Kelvin. So this is how we have to begin the experiment. So for uh, the knob, when the knob stops flashing, we will immediately note the temperature and voltage. And with this knob, we will slowly keep increasing the temperature. The observation table of this experiment consists of temperature, voltage, specific resistance, 10 to the power of 3 divided by T and log base E rho. So, here, the temperature we noted is 309 and voltage 150. At this point, the LED had stopped glowing. That means now we have to note the temperature and voltage. Now, specific resistance formula, we will be dividing it by correction factor in order to get the correct value of specific resistance. So the specific resistance formula rho is equal to V upon I into 2 pi S spacing between the probes divided by G7W by S. 
which is correction factor. Next table, uh, next column, 10 to the power of 3 divided by absolute temperature. Next column, log base E rho. And then we will plot a graph between 10 to the power of 3 divided by T and log base E rho. Find the slope of that graph. And for band gap, Eg is equal to 2 into Boltzmann constant into slope into 10 to the power of 3 and we will get the answer. So how have we done the calculations? I will explain you for two readings. Suppose at 309 Kelvin, the voltage shown was 15. I multiplied it by 10 and it is 150. My specific resistance rho becomes equal to 150 divided by 5. 5 is that current which I had set right in the beginning of the experiment. That into 2 into pi is 3.14 into 0 0.2 spacing between the probes which has been given to us divided by G7 W by S which we just found right now which is equal to 2 S upon W log base E2 that comes out as 5.54 and we get rho as 6.801. T inverse 10 to the power of 3, that is 1000 divided by this T here, I get 3.23. Log base E rho is equal to 2.303 into log base 10 and rho is this 6.801. So I get 1.916. One more reading. Now, suppose again, I rotated my oven knob, LED displayed light. After some time, that light, the moment it stopped glowing, I noted that the temperature was 318 and voltage was 149. So, my specific resistance rho is V upon I into 2 pi S divided by G7 W by S. V here is 149. I, 5 milliampere, we will be keeping it on in all the equations because we had made it a constant right in the beginning of the experiment. And G7 W by S is again uh, thus going to remain same. And then 1000 divided by T log base E rho is 2.303 into log base 10 rho, that is 6.75 here. This way, we will do calculations for the other readings. Approximately, we should be taking 14 to 15 readings because we have to plot a graph and find the slope in that major portion of the graph, which is showing a linear variation. And secondly, we can just have a check at our readings. We are noting that as the temperature is increasing, the voltage is decreasing. And as the resistivity decreases with increase in temperature. So we just get a rough idea that the readings which we have got are approximately correct. Next, after this, we will do the cal, we will plot a graph. The again challenge comes is for finding the scale for band gap graph. So what we will do, see, we have to plot a graph for 10 to the power of 3 divided by t and log base E rho. So how to choose the scale? We will check the maximum value which we have got in the readings and the minimum and divide them by how many blocks we want to break our graph into. See, here the maximum value is 3.83, minimum is 2.86 divided by 10. Approximate difference of 0 0.04, we can plot a graph. In the beginning, we can just show a king. Similarly, on the y-axis where we are plotting log base E rho, we see that the maximum value is 1.916 minus minimum is 1.559 divided by 10. Again, it is round about 0 0.04. So, we are going to again break our blocks in the graph as 0 0.04 difference. See, 2.85, 2.89, 2.93, 2.97, 3.01, like this, approximate difference of 0 0.04. Similarly, here also, see, 1.55, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75,
1.63, how much difference? 0 0.0 for approximate. And then we will plot the graph as keep checking the readings, like for this specific reading, this, and then with a free hand curve, we have just joined the points. Now we will find the slope of this graph, which is equal to del y by del x. That means the two coordinates of the y divided by difference between two coordinates of the x. Random we can choose just having a look at the slope of the graph. We get the slope. We will multiply this value of slope with our formula here. After plotting the graph, we will take the slope side like we took these coordinates for slope y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Whatever value we got for band gap formula, we did it 2 into Boltzmann constant into slope into 10 to the power of 3. Boltzmann constant 8.61 into 10 to the power of minus 5. And slope 1.45 we have got for this experiment. Approximate reading what we have got, we have mentioned it. If you want to compare with the standard result, that is 0.68 electron volt, you can do that. Readings depend from experiment to experiment. Major precaution of this experiment is that the current through the sample should not be large to cause heating. All the probes should be linear and the surface of the semiconductor material should be flat. Thank you.